We have an example here for function notation. This is function notation. I've taught it to you before. And what it means is, this is the name of the function. I called it f. I could have called it g, h, or anything at all. a for area, p for perimeter. This is the variable that we're going to be working with. And this is the equation, or if you will, the expression. In grade 9, we wrote it like this. Okay, there's no difference. Instead of calling it y, we're calling it f of x. It does make life easier. In grade 9, if I wanted to know the value of y when x equals 4, I would have to say, determine the value of y when x equals 4. And what you would do is, you would sub in 4 for x and get an answer. Well, guess what I get to do in grade 11? Instead of writing all of this, I get to simply write that. This means that. So, it means instead of x, put in 4, and we get the same answer. So this is very much more streamlined in our um, notation. So if I was to write this, that simply means instead of substituting in 4, you substitute in 5. And this would simply mean instead of writing in 5 or 4, you're going to sub in 0.5. And that's how you do function notation. We'll come back and talk about domain and range.